Here's a classic example of when a resistance test gives bad information and causes you to misdiagnose the problem. 68 Camaro, intermittent, no crank. I'll first start with the resistance test of the entire starter signal wire. Okay, so we're gonna test the whole resistance of it. Okay, go for it. 0 0.2 ohms is a great reading. This is what you wanna see in a circuit. It means the circuit and wires are good. Now we'll test with Devo. I only need one test lead with Devo and I'll connect it to the signal terminal at the starter. Look at this massive voltage drop. 2.37 volts? For most vehicles, this should be under one volt. And the battery voltage while cranking is 10.5 volts, which means the starter is getting around eight volts. If that battery voltage drops just a little bit lower, the starter won't crank, and that's the cause of the intermittent no crank. Excessive voltage drop in the starter signal wire. If you're wondering why the resistance test showed everything was good, it's because multimeters don't load circuits. If you relied on this test, you probably would have replaced the starter, which wouldn't have fixed the problem. 